Please welcome to the stage one of Hollywood's brightest stars, Philadelphia's own, the kid. brother and his crew, they're backstage. This is when Carl starts to become Carl. Beware of the handshake, This is a toast to my little brother. Smile. Always got my back. It must be nice to be a celebrity. What's the problem? What's the fucking problem? a situation. What was the situation? Pardon me, sir, these detectives would like to speak with you. Leslie's nice, man. I First, I've been a fan so, so, so long. I mean, I know it's like the 30 year anniversary of, of New Jack and 30 year Jungle Fever, 35 a Wildcat, and I've been watching all those. And for, I swear you, you were getting so, like you're in another level of, of how great an actor you, you already were. Like I, these last couple of projects, I'm just seeing like this other layer of Wesley. I really appreciate it, man. And I, I just really enjoy it. Um, my my first question, just combining with Kevin Hart, it's it's such an unlikely pairing. But when y'all together, it really looked like y'all brothers. I mean, I know we all brothers, but it really felt like like how did y'all get to that point of making it feel like that? Well, I mean, I, I, I you know use a couple of tricks, and uh, you know, family members they have similar mannerisms similar cadence, a way of talking, a way of using their body. And when you can match that, you know, find it and match it, then it's easy for people to accept, even subconsciously, that, yeah, they're related. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I look for. I, I watch Kevin and I've picked up little things that he does, mannerisms he does with his hands, even with his comedy, you know, how he talks. And, and then I add certain things like that to the character, like my character does this, he talks like this. You know, I don't talk like that. But the Philly boys, they talk like that, like y'all. You know, yeah, these yeah. help to, even the subconscious mind of the audience, uh, produce believability. Yeah. You know, and believability. I, I, I love the part of the story, you know, with dealing with celebrities and being extorted even, you know, by, by, by you know, people um, that's close to them, that's around them. And I know like a lot of people even think that, you know, the government, you know, extorted you like how, how, how was it to paint that picture in this dark thriller? I mean, this is, this is like a work of art. I really love this project. How did like, <clears throat> but that's the challenge, you know, I, I mean, they made a lot of sense to me to, to tackle the question of what happens uh, when you have fame and fortune, uh, the nuances, the dynamics, the things that change, the things that have to change the people that don't want you to change, but at the same time want all of the benefits and blessings from your come up. Um, it's a very interesting dynamic and we are culturally unfamiliar with dealing with that kind of fame and fortune holistically and in a way that it can be repeated, you know, perpetuated. Uh, so that was very attractive to me. I could get that. And I know a lot of cats, singers, rappers, athletes, who had a lot of fame and then didn't have the fortune or even lost the fortune at minimum. And the dynamic is deep. Yeah. But money is a trip, man. People with money and people without money is money in and of itself and your psyche of your money could be a real demon. I'm happy to see you, man. I'm happy to see you too, man. Coming up and everything. Yes, sir. On your grind, <laughs> on tour. Yes, sir. Got the kitty movie coming out, going big. It's not a kitty movie, see, it's a superhero movie. Superhero movie that's almost at a billion dollars. Wow, dude, I ain't see it, man. You know, I was gonna see it though, but not really my thing. You know? It's not your thing, but you know it's a kitty movie? You know, gotta be a kitty movie because your movies don't make a billion dollars. Yeah, kitty movie. So, uh, Christian like it? Christian likes everything I do. Really? I mean, maybe you're just saying that to be nice. Why would my son lie to me? <laughs> How about this? Whether you saw it, didn't see it, like it, didn't like it, it doesn't matter. The studio wants to give me $25 million to do another one. So Ooh, somebody got it somewhere. Somebody likes it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. They definitely do that. Yeah, because kitties love that. <laughs> 
That the third or fourth kitties. Mm. Can't keep track at this point. I know I mentioned uh, Jungle Fever and New Jack, and I'm curious of what those projects meant to you. But before I, before even we get to that, like who who sparked that interest in acting for you? Did you see something on stage or on screen, a, a particular actor that made you like you know go down this path? You know. Yeah, you know, I was such a fan of James Brown and Michael and and Gene Kelly, you know, those guys. And then also the um, Golden Harvest Kung Fu Boys on the Saturday afternoon Kung Fu cinema. I was so motivated by those cats, but it literally was my, uh, I think it was my sixth grade teacher who suggested to my mom after we did a, a play and for the assembly, wow, you know, assembly. Um, that I had some ability. And I remember during the play, I did something and the whole school laughed. And it was at that moment, I was like, wow. I didn't even realize what they were laughing at. And they, and they told me, said, well, they're laughing at you because you were funny. I was like, wow, okay. But honestly, it was the dancers. It was the body movement masters like James Brown and Michael Jackson, Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire. These guys had me open, <laughs> yeah. open, you know. I honestly, I never thought about doing dramatic work in film. I always thought I would be a song and dance guy, doing repertory theater all over the place, singing and dancing. You know, that was my, that was the You, you thing. proved that you got it all, man. You definitely one of my all time favorites. And I say that with all my heart, man. Thanks for the time. Great performance, easily the best limited series ever on Netflix. I know they got Squid Games and all that, but this is best ever on Netflix for real, man. Loved, the, loved it, thanks. Uh, Beautiful thing, man. All right. All right. More to come. I'm going to do something.